I'm going to attempt to document my discovery of the Irby Green Bunton Cemetery on November 18th, 2012. I've gotten clues from its whereabouts over the last year or two from internet research. I was finally successful uh, by using some GPS coordinates that were posted on the internet. The cemetery is located in the southwestern part of Halifax County. It's uh, very near Shady Grove Methodist Church. The GPS coordinates are shown on the screen. This was a view from the road very near where I parked my car. Uh, and act the first indication of the actual location of the cemetery was this stand of very tall oak trees that you see in the center of the photograph. I'm just discovering Irby Green Button's graveyard and I just saw that there was a, a grove of old growth trees, oak trees, and I can see the obelisk that I know is his grave marker. So I'm closing in on it now. see several markers right above the old among the old trees this is about my third excursion in the last year and a half trying to find this graveyard and here it lies the cemetery is very much grown over and it's almost taken back by the forest I'm going to guess there are 20 to 25 graves in the cemetery, most of which are either marked with just a, like a, a slab, rock, a slate, uh, with no inscription. There are, I guess, seven or eight graves that are actually marked and have inscriptions to identify who's buried in the grave. This obelisk stands about eight or nine feet tall, and it is Irby Green Bunton's marker. Irby was born in 1805 in Halifax County, Virginia. He married Nancy Dewberry uh, and on January 5, 1826 in Granville County, North Carolina. He was a farmer, and later on in life he's listed in census as being a constable. He was a member of Dan River Masonic Lodge, number 153. He and Nancy had about 10 or 12 children. Uh, his daughters were married to men in the community whose family names are still well known in the Halifax County area. They were Murrays and Coles and Wilburns, Arringtons, Witts. Two of his daughters were married to Coles and two of his daughters were married to Murrays. His son, Robert Logan Bunton, born 1851, died 1937, was my great-grandfather. Here we have markers for Irby's daughter, Rebecca, and her husband, John Cole. Uh, they're foot markers for those headstones as well. And there are a couple of uh, just uh, stone markers that I assume were maybe for some of their children. Here is Sergeant William H. Murray, who was the husband of Irby's daughter Elizabeth. He was a, a Civil War veteran. Beside him is Irby G. Murray, which I assume to be uh, William and Elizabeth's son. He was a veteran of the Spanish-American War, which was fought in 1898. This is the only other identifiable grave in the cemetery, and it's for Lucy Camilla Bunton, uh, or Lucy Wilburn. She was married to William Henry Wilburn. Uh, and this, this marker was obviously very recently placed by some of her descendants, I assume. Uh, it looks pretty much out of place in the cemetery. <laughs>